Well, uh, honey, who, uh, that looks like a spider. It does look like a spider. And, uh, Okay. Well, and he, he's pu he's pulling something. Do you know Do you know who this is? It looks like that looks like Wayne. What, Wayne from last weekend in Niagara Falls. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it is Wayne. It is. Well, what's he doing here? That sure looks like. Wayne. Yeah, that sure looks like Wayne. What? What is this? What is going on here? What What? Did you What? Uh, uh, who, it's it, Wayne. <laughs> Wayne. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, well Wayne, Wayne came down and uh, was, was going to show us this really cool camper he has that he pulls behind the spider. And uh, so let's get to it and uh, and see what this is all about, huh? So since we're in Pennsylvania, I'll start with where are the camper's from. It's from Pennsylvania. Yay! It's from a company <laughs> called Compact Camp. They're out of Myerstown, Pennsylvania. They have been making these mini mate campers for 30 some odd years. And uh, these are motorcycle towing campers. They're wonderful. They're nice and light, F empty without anything on it. It's only 260 pounds. So almost any motorcycle can, can tow it, or the larger ones for sure. And of course the spider doesn't even know it's towing anything. Wow, of course, and all that power. It's, it's a cute, it's a very cute little camper. And I, and I got it with the add -a room package and why don't you come on in and have a look? Oh, What's sure. Yeah. Thanks. Look at all this. Look at all this stuff. So this is my kitchen <laughs> and my dressing room, my spare room. Nice. And, and I carry a camp stove so I can make morning coffee. I bring my own power station. And that power station recharges my phone. And, and it also powers up my fridge, which is down here. It's not, it looks like a cooler, but it, it is a fridge. Like a cooler, yeah. What's anything good to eat? No, nothing good to eat, but I've got my cream and some drinks in there and it's, but it goes down to deep freeze. It goes down to minus eight degrees Fahrenheit. Minus eight Fahrenheit. What's that in Celsius real quick? Minus eight <laughs> Fahrenheit would be. Are you from... Wait a minute. Every Canadian knows Celsius. <laughs> yeah, well, zero is 32. <laughs> Close minus enough. Eight. It's probably minus 15 to minus 20 <laughs> Celsius. Well, this Maybe is. Maybe not quite that cold. And then what we have a. Got my little five pound uh, propane tank that handles my propane stove and my propane buddy heater. Wow, so you can like camp in Alaska. What is, I can. What is this uh, blue thing over here? <laughs> what is that? Oh, well, these are pots. Oh my goodness. Pots, like that. A couple different size pots. My little uh, kettle fits inside there. That's cool. And that's and, for quick cooking. And okay. what is this uh, well, device a here? Stanley French Press Coffee Maker. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Got to start the day with good coffee. That yes, you do. like glamping. And then the camper itself, it's currently set up for single bed. I, I travel solo. But there is a, another board and another cushion that comes down. It, it, it's, a, it's a double bed or a full bed configuration. Uh, and that's why I need the outer room because if you're traveling two up in this thing, it's just a bedroom. That's it. Mm, yeah. So you need the outer room for for you know covered space out of the out of the elements, and it sets up very quickly. This is there's a lot of storage here, right? That's the storage for travel. Everything that you see above folds down on top, and then everything below, 15 cubic feet. Do you want to stand storage. stand in, stand on that and show them, folks? Yeah. How now? How, how tall are you? I'm five foot eleven, and there's still. Oh, yeah. Still, I, yeah. I believe it's good for almost six and a half feet or six feet two. Yep. Plenty uh, of room. Six and a half feet long. Yeah, the little cushiony part here for the in your sleeping bag and. Yep. This is really neat. And then this is the other board that would go here and the cushion that would go on top of here if, if you were to set it up for a mm -hmm. a full size bed. So plenty of storage. This little room makes it nice just to take things on and off or to cook and you know it's just a it's a nice little yep. extra piece now this is additional to the that's yeah camper. that's an option the awnings an option which is a gotta have and then if you want this enclosed room because you can zip up these windows and it's a dressing room too and of course I have to have a table to put everything on and that fits all under there too everything you see here 
Except for the cooler. The cooler goes on the tongue. We'll, we'll walk right. around and look at the yeah. tongue. But yeah. And, and that's my tour pack bag. But everything else inside and outside here, it all fits in there. And I still had some room left over. Well, let's walk around the outside and show us the show us the uh, the hitch. Oh, look Welcome at to Canada, eh? <laughs> well, geez, I <laughs> thought we were in Pennsylvania, but maybe I got to check again. <laughs> so down here, uh, there's a cooler rack. So it holds that cooler, that fridge, and I I, I hold it on with a a bungee net and, a, and I have another cord that goes around. My five pound propane tank fits in this little gizmo here and then I strapped a couple extra redundant straps just to make sure it stays put. I got a spare tire for the spare tire. Yeah. Camper. Okay. This is it's very good. This is looks like a, a water. Is this a, yeah is this a quality material I was gonna ask. Gonna I am ask. real happy with this. I have camped in rain several times and there's other than morning dew that might show up inside, no, it doesn't leak. They they do recommend maybe once a year to give it a once over with some waterproof spray just to keep it that way. I mean, they a have a video sprayer. that they can set it up in under a minute, and it's rated just the camper. You can set this up with without without the add-on room yeah. in in a minute. And, and most people, once they get to practice with it, it's a two-minute setup just for just the camper. The add a room with the poles and the ropes, you yeah, you're gonna add a few more minutes, but it's worth it. Very much worth it. Well that, I love this. This is this is really neat. So so you pull this with your with my 2020 Spider RT Limited. Nice, nice. And it's fun. You're camping with the spiders. I am. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're having a quick breakfast here, but we want, Wayne wanted to show you the space where the tables were. Everything is now. So if you hold that there for a second. Mm -hmm. So as long as I keep uh, everything packed up below the, the line here, like this, the table I bring, but all kinds of stuff under there. Yeah. And everything's going to fold down on top of this when I'm, when I'm ready to pack it up. Lots of storage.
good way to tell us about his cooler that he has here because we have put in some uh, Front Porch Farms beef and some blueberries that I picked and we've been standing around here talking and even packing up and um, it went from, what was the temperature it started at? It was at 40. I, I had it on cool because it's, it's a refrigerator with a compressor. It was 40 and it was maybe a half an hour. It's down to 12. Wow. It'll go down to minus eight if we want it to, but I don't want it that cold. I just want to keep some frozen stuff you've given me frozen on the way home. Um, some nice frozen packages in there, and it'll stay frozen. It, this is a 30-quart uh, cooler freezer from Bouge RV. I believe they come up to as high as 52 quarts. Wow. They get taller and taller. Okay. But for a solo rider, and maybe even dual that's that's plenty of space for keeping cold food or frozen food it's your choice nice and this is what does tell that's about the cover that? an insulated cover yeah. about that separate after oh, that uh, but it's for this cooler okay if you want it you buy it separate right and uh just to help just keep the insulation i don't know if it really it, helps it much but does. i think it does i think it probably does too yeah the, re the reviews on this the one that i really liked was uh was by on a youtube channel uh, gone again on again he and his wife are out in utah or montana and they travel all over and they and they review they've reviewed a whole bunch of different refrigerator coolers ah, and okay. he, I think he did this one and it was a, it was a good review and and then what are you doing here with this uh charger so that's hooked up to my power station so you can charge it uh off power station which is this one's 12 volt it's right now but it does come with the ac uh adapter Oh, so you okay. can plug it straight into AC as well. And I suppose if you had the little conversion kits, you could plug it right into your uh, solar panel. You'd have to have one that converts the 12 volt into your MP4 connectors. Nice. Wow, yep. that is really slick. <laughs> yep. All right, just wanted to show you this cool... Cooler. Cooler. <laughs> <laughs> packed up and he's heading back to back north so all right thank you so much. safe travels Wayne thank you yeah get the you gotta wave the start ready set go <laughs> You just meet the friendliest people from Canada. Eh? You do, eh? Come back and see us again.